Welcome to Carib News, where we bring you the stories and voices that shape our community. And today, we'll be talking with Sharon Mali, an accomplished singer, dancer, and curator of the Mali family's enduring musical heritage, about her upcoming performance at City Winery, New York City, this coming Wednesday, August 7th. Coming on the heels of the, of the, of the, of the movie, One Love, and then Rita's 70th birthday. Let's talk a little bit about this concert you have coming up and how this is going to be a tribute to both your mom and your dad. Tell me a little bit yeah. about that and, and why this is a special moment for you. You know, we're always celebrating our parents. I think it's the natural role of the children to celebrate their history, to remember their history, to pass on the information to future generations. So I just see that's something that we do automatically. Is this your book? Is this your first big performance um, or reintroduction after the Melody Makers? Yes. Is this sort of like the coming um, out? You know, earlier this year, I think it was February this year when the Bob Marley movie was first um launched in Toronto I think I did my first major appearance at the Art Gallery of Ontario um I performed there I performed there to over I want to say over over 400 people that particular night and uh, that was the first time for me to be doing an individual appearance. You know, it was quite, quite a, a feast for me, a treat for me, I should say, because yes, I have been uh, off the off the radar as far as music is concerned for a while. So it was great being back doing what I love to do. So. I took it as a blessing and an honor, especially at the time that the movie was being premiered. So this performance now is going to be like the introduction of a fundraiser for my mother's um, school, the Rita Marley Girl Center in Jamaica. To honor my mother's footprints in Trenchtown. You know, Trenchtown is a very important location for our family. Mm -hmm. So the Rita Marley Girls Center is going to be opened to, is going to be created to bring young women in off the streets that for some, for whatever reason, weren't able to complete their education and make themselves a productive part of society. So our aim is to help them to follow the footsteps of Rita Marley as a girl from the ghetto. You know, so we're trying to empower these young women and um, encouraging them to bring back something to Trench Town. You know, Bob Marley said the people asked the question, can anything would come out of Trench Town? And the answer is yes. That is, that is awesome. Any special songs you, you, you're going to decide on, 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 on performing? I will be representing my family, both my mother and my father and my group, Ziggy Marley and the Melody Makers. So you can look forward to hearing songs from all three repertoires. Mm -hmm. And of course, myself, you know, I have three singles that I've released over the last, I want to say four years. Mm -hmm. I will try and squeeze those in. But okay. um, yeah, the main theme is celebrating the family, you know. Any uh, special different projects or music coming from you in the future, in the near future? Uh, I'm working on my my solo album. Um, I don't want to work on it under pressure, so I'm taking my time. I have about eight tracks already. I'm, I'm working with producer. His name is Leroy Roman. He's a Grammy-winning producer as well. He's worked with a lot of Jamaican bands, including the Whalers, including Third World. So and he's very talented, you know, and um he's taken me to the place of working with frequencies, and um I'm very in tune and excited for that and for this project, and I want to just take my time 
and put the love and energy into it without feeling pressure. You know, I, I want it to be a mixture, a, a blend of different feelings for my audience, not only for dancing, but for listening pleasure mm -hmm. as well.